Good afternoon, or actually I should say good morning, everybody. It's me, Lumiere Finisher. It's been so long since I did a video with you. And unfortunately enough, I am a bit disappointed that I only have two subscribers. And like me and Michelle, of course, have been talking about many times is maybe I need to change the way I do my videos. But today we're going to be doing something really cool. We're going to, I have Michelle here, of course, and we're going to talk about not so much about the normal topics, but rather we're going to talk about some of her topics on our channel today and um, so that we can get you familiar with um, who I am and what I do. Now, for those of you who've been watching her channel for a few years, and I mean that literally two or three years. Uh, Michelle has been doing videos on her channel. And my channel is relatively new. It's only been around since about March of 2013. So it's really a very new channel. And um, I need to get some more footage in because of that reason. Now... <clears throat> me very much the um a lot of people sometimes get a little bit uh, disconcerted because that michelle and i have our own different personalities and how we present things to you <clears throat> excuse me i mean michelle and i were eating a lot of little snacks as we were watching uh the original sabrina the teenage witch which Michelle likes because she likes her she likes Sabrina and her attitude and she likes the white hair. So we actually enjoyed watching that. And also yesterday Michelle met a lady named Billy Joel Baxter Billy Joe Baxter, not Joel. <laughs> I keep saying that wrong. <laughs> Billy Joe Baxter here in Winstead and um there was considerations about possibly going for a luncheon <clears throat> and um and i think that was a wonderful idea i think it would be great for me and michelle to get out and meet with everybody in the area especially the people who are, are very active fans of our videos really should get a chance to ask us questions i've always asked you to ask me questions here on my website but for some reason I just never seem to get very many answers. So, well, any further ado, I'd like to ask uh, Michelle to join me here, and um, and so we could talk about some of the stuff that we have wanted to talk about um, for a while. Um, so, Michelle, thank you. Um, I wanted to. I know I did a video on your channel interview with you on your channel. And I know you were going to do an interview on my channel, but you never did really get a chance to do it. Well, there was a lot of reasons we kept running into, um, you know, well, you know, everyday events in, in, in life that seem to keep coming up. And so the, um, the video concept just never took off. So, you know, um, I don't know. Are we going to have any bit of luck doing it now? Or do you think... It's early in the morning, I'd say probably. I don't think we're going to get anybody knocking on the doors and bellowing for assistance at this time of the day. So I think we probably can get to the questions. And uh, the, and also, we want to again invite all of our audiences. I say audiences plural because I have my audience and you have yours. Right. And so we can actually, would like to actually ask both audiences to send us questions. So we can actually try to answer them. Um, but since right now they're not here yet, and obviously they haven't had a chance to, um, maybe they don't have, maybe they're not sure what to ask. Um, you know, we should try to help them along. Um, maybe we could start by answering um uh, some of the common everyday questions that people do ask. Okay. Um, what kind of questions? Well, for example, um, how did we meet? 
I was Michelle's uh, spirit guide in I'm Your Twin Soul, and we met um, long, long, long ago in a universe far, far away for using something from Star Wars. Um, we were created at the same time by Mother and Father God, and we have been... Um, both have had our own completely separate lives and we also have been others spirit guide as well so we have not only experienced being a spirit guide for the other in other people as well yeah you can be a spirit guide for a total stranger it doesn't have to be for friends or family because you know sometimes friends or family may not be the best choices um, for spirit guides um, so why did you guys join in 2011 is another common question and when exactly did the union take place me and Michelle had met in um, around 2000 uh, around uh, February of 2011 Michelle at that point was um, really just not very skilled yet at what she was doing with weather and she was getting very upset and she was angry and I was like she couldn't figure out what she was doing wrong with the spells um, to make the right amount of snow her her heart was there but for some reason um, besides burying Washington DC in a snowstorm um, Michelle was a wild talent so um, I had always been with Michelle from day one but uh, Michelle never originally gave me a name. And, of course, that's one thing that a person has to do sometimes is to give their spirit guide a name. The spirit guide usually um, allows that to happen because it, it makes the, the person feel more at ease than if they had realized that the, the person already had a name. Yeah, and that, and that sometimes is also where problems can um, come in. Well, it's funny the name that you chose for me, Lumi, means enlightenment. And then, well, how did Finistra come to be? Was Michelle was wanted to play Second Life, and one of the characters, and she wanted to name her in honor of me. And so what happened was, is that at that time, Second Life would actually give you a choice of last names, and. Um, and for some reason, the name Finisra stood out. And then her friend Angel says, That's Lumi's last name, is Finistra. And uh, so Michelle said, Well, that makes some sense, considering Finistra means window. So Enlightenment window is actually what my name means in Italian. Yeah, it, it's, just, it's really kind of interesting to think about that because you really have been in Enlightenment. You have been a godsend at uh, keeping me on the, um, organized and, and um, focused on the things that I need to do. And I have to tell you, I am very honored to be here with you every day because I think that we have really gone so far um, into talking about you know the, the universe and everything. So it's been a, a very good working arrangement. But we also realized before um, this is sometimes we talk a lot about this, and we're going to we're going to try to simplify it for a lot of the people who do not understand. Um, usually, two souls per body um, doesn't usually work out well for most people because, um, especially upon you know when, when they're born, if there's two souls in the same body. It's because sometimes one becomes dominant, one becomes submissive, and creates all kinds of hardships. So what we what was done with Mother Asna's permission was is that Michelle, this was Michelle's body, so it was very easy to say is, well, could we have it where, because Michelle really, you know, me and Michelle really love each other very much. We're very special to each other. Um, so we said, Michelle said, um, could we? I go ahead and then start out here, and then uh, later on have Louie join me. And so Mother said, yes, but there's one catch. 
You have to acknowledge that Lomi indeed is supposed to join you and that she indeed is your other soul. If you guys join together ahead of time, prior to that, you might not work out very well. So that was what was done, was that me and Michelle had uh, taken the time to uh, research and study Twin Flames and Twin Souls to um, give us a chance to... Um, learn about more about each other i was more in that case at that time more of a passive observer as is what a typical spirit guy does i did not try to coerce michelle to study any particular topics because it's not permitted to do that we have to allow the the human or the person or on earth at that time to make their own um, um research we can sometimes suggest things but we cannot do the work for them. That's definitely not in the rules. So if Michelle didn't want to um, keep digging into the twin soul environment, um, there would never have been a joint union. There would never would have been a joining. In fact, um, Michelle probably wouldn't be um, is I don't know if her life would have been much better or worse than it is now. But Michelle's life since our joining has definitely has improved a lot. Uh, I mentioned in one of her discussions about her MGAF. Um, this is a, actually an interesting number. It's a, it's a, a, a basically it's a great. It's a um, um, psych, psychology score, and uh, what is it called? A f um, ability to function, uh, mental guideline for. Uh, well, whatever. Basically, it's just like a credit score. Okay, the higher, the better. Okay, um, Michelle's MGAF was pretty low at the time because she had suffered so many setbacks and losses. So it really was really wonderful for Michelle to have a chance to improve her MGAF. And to do that, Mother Asna knew that she would need assistance to do that. So as a spirit guide, I was to help Michelle, helping her ma avoid making mistakes. But Michelle really needed a lot more than just a, a case management person from the other side. She needed she needed uh, physical comfort too. And and that was understood because Michelle, because you know she is a hermaphrodite, you can't get physical comfort from the average person because the average person will push you away. They don't like hermaphrodites. Um, they don't like dealing with them. They don't feel comfortable around them. They get mixed up with transvestites and um, and transsexuals, both pre and post operative. And so the, the hermaphrodite is just kind of um, often uh, ignored. Uh, so there was the skin. This is where. It was already agreed on from the beginning that this body would be her hermaphroditic body. And so, because this body is filled for two people. Right. Um, so let me ask you a question. Okay. I think I know the question you're asking me. Okay. What is it? Uh, am I a male or female spirit? Yes. Um, I can be either one. I am definitely more masculine than feminine. Michelle is more feminine than masculine. Uh, Michelle has very little masculinity in her attitudes. Um, she tries to play the male role, only to find herself um, ill-prepared for the role. Even though, like me, she has taken on many lives and throughout her life, her times on Earth as both men and women. And as a woman, she excels. She kicks ass. She takes names. But as a guy, unfortunately, this has happened many times, uh, both as a, as a Greek soldier and a Roman soldier, she ended up quite dead, literally. Um, you have to understand that there's, there's some people that are just better at it than others. Whereas I was really into the same problem, whereas when I'm in a female role trying to be the, what is expected of a female, I'm screwed. <laughs> I can't do it because I'm too butchy. And I don't like butchy people. Okay, so that's the reason why you chose, or we both agreed on that this body would be designed from the factory um, for 
of both a masculine type and a feminine type. So, yes. Okay. Um, some people think that, uh, you know, you, it's only one or the other. You don't, you never take a female role or you never take a male role. It doesn't work that way. No, it does not. Because, as you know, and I know, if you have a male soul and you only do male roles, you will never understand the female. Yeah, it would be just like trying to read a textbook, trying to understand what it's like to be deaf when you've never been deaf. Yeah, well, and... Till this life, we I haven't been deaf. Yeah. I, okay. So yeah, right. That's exactly the point. I think that uh, we have to um, be willing to keep studying other roles. But after a while, Mother and Mother God looks at the and so does Father God, and they look at how we've done and they ask us, okay, do you really want to go back as a man or a woman in your next incarnation if you decide to go back as an, um, at all? And that's the next question, which we'll briefly discuss, is are we coming back after this time? I, I don't think so, because I think that after this life, I think we have reached a point where it's just, I'm just fed up with it. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't feel that, you know, I could really learn much more than I've already learned. I mean, I've been on this earth, this is my 23rd time, completely by myself. Oh, well, that gets complicated. No, actually, it is right, because, I mean, I have been here 23, this is my 23rd time on earth. This is really your complete by yourself life, so it's 21. Right, we consider this life my 22nd because I'm living with you. But individually, you were here 21 times. Yes, okay. Okay, now we understand that. 